here's a real test of how the uh, Scotty O2 was able to perform in this narrow trail with a lot of branches and a lot of trees. For the most part, I did pretty good. Try to navigate through all the small branches and all the trees. And then it got stuck and lost track of me a couple of times. So I had to manually control it to get out of this patch of uh, wood out into the clearing. So here's what it got stuck. It still has me tracked, but it was not able to move anymore because of all the uh, hazards and branches and trees around it. So once the uh, Scotty O2 got stuck in the little, that little section, not being able to move, I had to manually control it with my phone to get it out of the little patch of wood here out into the clearing behind us. It took a while to get it out because the uh, obstacle avoidance prevented it from moving forward or up because it was uh, detecting branches and uh, trees so I couldn't really get it out. So what I had to do was I had to land it and just bring it out to the clearing and then set it up again to track me. So you can see from the two trees that it had enough space to fly through if it didn't have the uh, obstacle avoidance. But in this case, with the, uh, you know, how good the, uh, the cameras are on the uh, Scotia 2, it sensed that there was a tree or a branch in the way and it wouldn't go anymore. So I was not able to navigate it by using my controller. Once I got it out to the clearing, I was able to uh, have a take flight again and start tracking it again. So on this one, it just motion tracked me from the right. And there were some trees in the way. And for the most part, I did a very good job um, navigating those trees and branches and kept me in sight the whole time. 